it's time, it's time, it's time for part two of making this pattern and achieving this dress look with a sh skirt, <laughs> with a shirt and a skirt. Say hello. <laughs> You're really getting a hang of this good boy. We have a skirt, time for the shirt. So Winnie, it's time to make a skirt <laughs> from the same pattern as the shirt, but this time you have to promise mommy not to piss on it. Please, please. Please. <laughs> I am officially scared for the future of this blouse because it's a bodice and a sleeve in one. Which means strange folds in the pit, we're coming your way. But I wanted to try out this pattern and I shall give it a go, even if it looks ugly. I saw in the comments from the previous video that many of you are outliers and rebels and don't do mock-ups at all. So you know what? I want to live my life dangerously as well. And therefore, therefore, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out the pattern in the main fabric. Ah. Am I scared? Yes. Just tell me I switched on the mic. <laughs> By the way, Winnie is officially entering the monkey stage. <laughs> Look at his face. Same, same. I know some of you guys have Pomeranians, so if you do, please let me know in the comments how long does the monkey slash hedgehog slash hamster face last? Because uh, my partner says he looks really ugly. I think he's kind of cute even when his fur is messy, but... It is what it is. Yep. Winnie is a monkey. Oh, God. And yes, he is teething. Let's see if the camera will focus on its own. Yay! This is the blouse pattern. It's really weird and I have very little hope for it turning out well. But I will give it a go anyway. Thank you, enjoying the first sunshine. Hello, baby. Come on, Mama is coming out. Good boy. Winnie, thank you for help in the garden. That's very kind of you. <laughs> Gardening with Mama. <laughs> he has so much stuff on his bum. <laughs> have been a catnip <laughs> judging my pinky's reaction <laughs> pinky pinky you're a bit high <laughs> <laughs> I'm so drunk Last year, catnip still has some power. <laughs> My little pinky. My little. <laughs> First sunshine of the year on the terrace. Oh, so good, huh, baby?
just so you just so you know this is the outside world right now this was literally snow free one and a half hours ago how <laughs> all the pattern pieces are cut out luckily i managed to cut them out while winnie was thankfully asleep for once and the only thing i'm gonna do now before starting to sew is interface the cuff what's it called sleeve band and the facing i will let it cool down a little bit while i play with winnie watch the snow fall and then i'll start sewing okay the last piece of the pattern is uh, cooling down after being interfaced winnie is up to no good <laughs> uh, so i'm gonna start by connecting the back well you can't see right this is the back pattern piece so i'm gonna connect it at the center back with just a normal stitch and i'm gonna overlock it we need <laughs> little bastard i can't put him down because he goes straight for the pins it has really weird dart that starts here and ends here so it will be let out and it will probably make the bag really baggy i'm not sure if i will like it but I'll still make it up and we'll see how it goes. So I'll make the back, then I'll connect it to the front by the arm and connect the back neck and uh, sew on the facing. Winnie, you naughty boy. And connect the facing and then make the buttonholes and try it on. Don't eat the pins, please. back darts they start here and finish here which usually is the middle of the dart but um, I'll do it like the pattern wants me to and see if I like it if not I'll change it Winnie insists on being picked up and being a part of the process what a good boy he needs something to chew on constantly. I guess he's itchy teeverish, but at least he's happy now. Sitting with mama. Poor baby. Poor baby with itchy teeverish. <laughs> He's really tired and sleepy, but as soon as he hears any noise whatsoever, he needs to check it. What a proper guard dog. It's okay, you can take an evening off, Winnie. It's fine. No, you can take a wee evening off. Off duty. I'm done making the darts at the back, so now I'll just put the front and back together, make a collar, put on the facing, and we'll be off to the races. Oh, oh my. Oh, so sleepy, baby. Wanna go down and sleep? I have just connected the neck. It's a very interesting build because I'm used to having a collar as a separate piece, but in this case, collar was the part of the bodice. So you kind of just put in a dart that extends and connects the back neck of the collar and the bodice. So here it is. And now I'm just gonna put in the dart 
and try on the blouse as is for now. Winnie was sleeping comfortably on his bed, but I had to get up to go pee. Of course he had to follow, but he's so tired, the poor thing. But his little shadow duties don't allow him to sleep if mama is not in the room. He had to follow. Poor thing. I tried on this... I was about to say skirt, short, and what I can see is that I'll be able to close it. So it's not too tight, which is great. So I can go ahead and finish it. Of course, just as expected, it does have the weird fold because the sleeve and the bodice is just one piece. So of course it has to fold, but at least it's not uncomfortable as far as I can tell. And the back looks like this. It might be nice to have it hanging over the skirt. I don't know. I'll try it on tomorrow after I finish it completely and I'll see how it looks in the end. The only thing left to do is attaching the facing, fixing that bit, and figuring out how to make the sleeves, and then putting on the buttons and hemming, and I shall be done.
played here two days ago. What in the world has happened? Enjoying the snow. <laughs> Are you? Are you little facey? shirt that we've been working on this whole time. Winnie is wearing a jumper because he had a shaky 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 butt when he got up because it was really cold inside so I put a jumper on him which he hated initially but he seems to be enjoying it right now. Just look at him getting sleepy. What do you think about the blue and peach shoe combo? I'm kind of digging it. I went out of my way to buy the matching fabric for skirt and shirt and now that I have it I don't think I like it. <laughs> In general, let me know what do you think about the fit of the shirt. I think I could have get, gotten away easily without doing, without enlarging the pattern because it has way more ease than I expected. I'm used to vintage patterns that are very fitting, but this shirt is giving more be happy in your everyday life, be comfortable, live, laugh, love, eat, breathe. <laughs> it's very utilitarian. I think the skirt will look much better with a shirt that has some pattern on. Or even the whole mock dress will look much better with a, with a fabric that has some pattern on. The only problem is that I have not found a fabric in the color I like with a pattern I like in Stockholm steel or anywhere else in whole Norway for that matter. So I feel like I'm wearing a uniform, but in a good way, I'm not mad at it. I don't know, I like it. It's very, very, very comfortable. Is that a win for a casual wardrobe? I would say yes. I am extremely comfortable wearing this shirt, even though I do not like the fit 100%. So, I don't know. I think given that this wardrobe is supposed to be an everyday casual wear wardrobe, this might be a good thing. The back has a lot of fabric let out, and I think that's what contributes to the comfort of the wear. I am curious to make the shirt with a shorter sleeve as well. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I still have more pencils, pencil skirts and more shirts to sew up for this Capsi wardrobe. So please let me know in the comments below. Should I go with this pattern or should I try out another pattern just out of curiosity to see how different shirts and pencil skirt patterns come out and we can compare it together. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about the fold of the shirt under the sleeve? because the construction of the blouse, <laughs> the construction of the blouse is made so much more easier because the bodice and sleeve is just one big piece. But does it compromise the look of the shirt? I am so comfortable in this shirt that I feel like I cannot be objective and I need you <laughs> for that. <laughs> so please do let me know in the comments below. Should I make more shirts like this one? And if yes, what kind? What color? What pattern? Oh, and I forgot to mention that the shirt is way too big on me, so I had to put buttons way off to the side. And this is what makes the shirt look a little bit off center, because I did put the buttons off center <laughs> to make the shirt fit me a little bit better, because it was way, way, way too big. Which is weird, because the skirt was too 
small almost, whereas the shirt is way, way, way too big. Me not understand. Oh, poor Winnie wants to go to sleep. Me too, baby. Me too. And I also <laughs> made a boo boo and made the buttonholes slightly too small. So putting those buttons in is a chore. But I really love the buttons that I found in my stash. Let me see if I can zoom you in. There you go. What would you think about the buttons? And also the shirt is so fresh of the sewing machine that I still didn't remove the marks. Marker marks. Say hello. Oh, but you, but you, but. Please keep your fingers crossed that the snow will melt soon because I do want to start wearing my spring wardrobe. And in hindsight, I feel like I started on the spring wardrobe right away because I thought I don't have time <laughs> to sew up a whole capsule wardrobe for winter. But turns out, I actually might have had enough time. <laughs> it's not winning. Really. Can I please keep my lipstick on till the, till the end of the video? Thank you so much. And that's it for today's video. Winnie, say thank you for watching. <laughs> that was a very gentle thank you for watching. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. But before you go, please do the YouTube things. The likey, subscribey, commenty things. Do all the things that you can do on YouTube. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Kiss. Oh, good boy. Good boy.